Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to animate in Roblox Studio. So first, you're going to actually want to get the dummy. Then you're going to go to Avatar at the top and select Animation Editor. And now you can select your dummy or whatever you want to animate. You can give the animation clip a name. I'm just going to call mine Walk Animation. And now you are inside of the Animation Editor and you can start working on your animation. Now, since this is a walking animation, I'm going to make the player look like they are walking for the first frame. And to move the body parts of the dummy, you just select them and then you can move them, rotate them, or press R and move them. But once you've gotten your first pose, then you can go along the timeline and find another area to plot your second position. Now, usually for walk animations, the second position is going to want to be the exact opposite of what you currently have as your first position. So I'm just going to switch the position of the arms and legs so that it gives the illusion of the player walking. As you can see, the first frame is the exact opposite of the second frame. Now that I've done that, I can move the second frame whatever I want it to. And then in the first frame, I can control C and control V so that the animation continues. And if you want the animation to loop, you select this little box right here, Toggle Looping Animation. Now obviously this doesn't look good, but you would usually spend more time to make this look better. But once you've got your animation done, you can go to these three dots here, click Save, and then click Publish to Roblox. Here you can give the walk animation a name, give it a description as well, and then click Submit. Now your animation should be published, and now you click this icon next to the ID. You got the ID copied. You can close it, and now you can paste the ID wherever you need to import the animation. And that is how to animate in Roblox Studio. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, it really does help me out a lot. I'll see you in the next one.